Hello, Dearborn Heights residents. Uh, we're here sitting at the fire station uh, with uh, Chief Brogan, and today we're going to be talking about uh, uh, safety in the kitchen, especially during the holiday seasons. We have uh, Thanksgiving coming up and also Christmas, so we want to make sure that we tell the residents uh, uh, what the do's and don'ts. Uh, so, Chief, uh, again, thank you so much for uh, having us here today. Uh, so I see that you have this the contraption here with, uh, you know, we have, uh, I don't know if this is live fire or, or, you know, then you have frying pan. Yep. So would you like to explain that, please? Yeah, so here's our little cooking setup. So, yeah, and, and like you said, we're, we're, as we're coming up to the holidays, um, cooking fires are actually, they really are on the rise around then. So um, Thanksgiving and Christmas Eve are the two largest, largest uh, times for cooking fires across the country and that that applies here in Dearborn Heights as well. And there are a lot of reasons for that. A lot of times you have some amateur cooks, people who don't cook very often. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of family members present uh, when you're here cooking and so that's a lot more distractions and when you have a lot of distractions it's very easy to to turn something on the stovetop and walk away and forget about it and that's when you can have a fire. And also uh, there's a lot of kids around and they can sometimes play with knobs and reach up to things so it's good to, in your cooking area to try to keep a three foot safe zone where no kid zone and keep everyone out of that area and be sure that you're staying uh, in tune if you have something cooking don't get distracted because there's, uh, family members are coming and someone answers the door so if you ever you should never walk away but if you do walk away be sure that you take something with you when you're going to leave to 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 remind you that you have something on the stovetop so something that you wouldn't normally have in your hand is like like take this with you and as you go walking talking to people this will this will serve as a reminder that yes i have to be right back in there but hope ideally you just you just stay stay right at the right at the uh spot where you're cooking if you're not careful, you can have you can have a fire that starts on your stovetop, and so you need to know now what are you going to do. And the last thing you want to do is panic. <laughs> so what what we often will see is you see a fire where it doesn't belong. People want to get it out of the house, and they might they might grab if this were on fire, they'll grab it and try to run out of the house with it. And and when they do that, things spill on them. You can catch other things on fire. We've had many many fires that have started from people that have dropped these and then caught the floor on fire, caught the wall on fire, or people that have burns all over their legs and arms trying to carry that outside of the house. So never try to carry it outside of the house. Ideally you'll have a lid nearby and, and you just slide it over from the side right onto the top of it and then you turn the burner off and leave it alone. Don't, don't be tempted to lift it up to check to see if it's still burning. Just leave it alone and it will slowly cool and, and then you can, uh, you can go on from there. Um, you see some other things we have here is a paper towel roll. You don't want to have that nearby where it can also catch fire. And even like an oven mitt, some people have those hanging in, in strange places. You just want to keep, keep anything that might be flammable away, including like long sleeves. You don't want to be reaching over something that might be on fire. Um, you can see now the fire has, has gone out. So that's... That's ideally how you put a fire out. If you don't have the exact lid, that's okay. It doesn't have to be a, a perfect fit, or you can even take a cookie sheet and slide it on top of it if, if, you don't have, if you don't have the lid. So just something to smother it from the oxygen to keep the flames down, and be sure you turn the burner off after you have it covered if you could do so safely. Um, sometimes you'll, you, might, you might get a fire on the outside if you have some grease that's spilled, and, uh, and that's when you're going to want to, I mean, still follow the same things if you could do it safely, and that's where you want to be sure that you have a fire extinguisher in your house. Um, so everyone should have a fire extinguisher someplace nearby uh, in their kitchen, and, and you should be comfortable with how to use it. And so the, the, there's the acronym PASS, uh, P-A-S-S, -S, and that stands for, the P is for pull, where you, where you pull the pin, and then you aim, and that's the A, and then it's squeeze and sweep. You don't want to stick it right in and then squeeze it and blow things all over the place. You want to be a comfortable distance away and, and where you can just squeeze and then, and then you sweep back and forth and to, until you smother the fire out. And that's, and that's something that everyone should be comfortable doing in, in the house that's, gonna, that's of cooking age. And if you're to the point where the fire has grown beyond that and, you're, and there's so much smoke and you're trying to use that's time to get out. Make sure everyone is out of the house. That's what we have a fire department for. Uh, no, one, no one wants to see their kitchen catch on fire, but we don't want to see anyone in the burn unit. We don't want to see anyone with even more serious injuries than that from breathing in the smoke and all, the, all of the uh, uh, things that come along with, with the fire. So just get yourself out of the house. Get, get your family, get everyone out of the house. Call 911 from, from outside and make sure you keep everyone out. And, and then the fire department will come and will, and will take care of it from there. But 
definitely uh, you don't want to get injured during the holidays. You have family over. It's supposed to be a nice, nice time where everyone gets together and enjoys themselves, and we don't want, any, want, want anything that uh, any of the negative consequences from having a fire. So, Chief, uh, you see, you, you grab the fire extinguisher, so you recommend to have a fire extinguisher, obviously, yep. a certain distance away from the oven. That's right. Yeah, you don't want to have it, uh, uh, you want to have it between, like, the, where, you, where you can get to it in a, in a safe manner, and it's kind of out of the way. Like, in, in my house, I have my, my stove top is here, and then I have a kitchen cabinet, and it's right underneath that kitchen cabinet. And everyone in the house knows where it's at, and, and, and we check it. They'll have a, a, this has a dial on it, and it tells you, you see the arrows in the green that says that it's, that it's safe to use. And, uh, and, and the, people ask, what's, what's the best type? Um, you just want to get one that's, sometimes they have them that look like, like a little spray can, almost like an aerosol can. Those ones aren't as good unless, I mean, make sure that it has, that it has the label, the Underwriters Laboratory UL on it. Th that's how you know it's, it's a good one. Um, yeah, and and th th they sell them at Home Depot. They're really not that expensive, and, and so everyone should have at least one in your house and, and know where it's at, know how to use it. So, Chief, my mom has asked me, she's a senior citizen, obviously, and, you know, she's asked a lot, you know, always asked me about fire extinguishers. You know, you, you answered most of the questions, but uh, when the dial is in a green, obviously, it's good to go. Yeah. So, um, can you talk about, like, how often do you actually look at it, service it, if there's a servicing yeah. time on it, or, like, if, if and even if it's in a red, like, what do you do with it? Well, well, once they get to, to where they've been used up, then, then you'll, it'll be in this recharge zone. And, and what you really need to do is contact, uh, there's, there's several fire extinguisher companies, and they can, they can help you if, if, if you have a rechargeable style. But most of the ones that you're going to get at Home Depot, it'll, it'll say if they're, if they're still usable, but it's, it's best to just go out and buy a new one, especially if, if they're... Uh, I mean, if it's been several years, and, and, and a lot of times they'll even have a date of how long they're good for. Um, but if you, have, if you have nothing, or if you go to use it and you see that it's not in there, you're still better off trying it if, if, if it's still appropriate. Like I said, if, if, it, if the fire has grown to the point where there's, the smoke is banking down and you have to kind of duck down to be able to use it, that's, that's beyond the fire extinguisher now. Uh, last question, Chief. Yeah. Uh, so God forbid, you know, this, I mean, the fire gets out of control, and, and as you mentioned, you have to just, just leave the house. Right. Um, if the fire gets out of control, I mean, what do you suggest? You know, I, I know I've seen drills, you know, people, they, they, they go low yeah. or crawl out. Could you, could you t uh, especially for our senior citizens, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, and, and that's especially important for senior citizens because some, sometimes they want to hang in there even, even more to try to, try to s save their things. But it, sometimes your speed isn't as what it, what it used to be. And, and, and so it's really important that, that you take, take the opportunity. Because like, it, it really is a shrinking window of opportunity to safely exit your home. Because the smoke will grow and, and it will start to bank down. And, and then it gets really hard to move. Especially if now you might have to get down and crawl. Um, and if you're not as mobile and agile as you used to be, then you want to be sure that you've given yourself plenty of time so you can get out. And so the number one thing is get yourself out and any other people in the house. And yell out, fire, fire, fire. Um, obviously, we didn't talk about smoke detectors, but you, everyone needs to have smoke detectors in their homes. If you weren't carrying your reminder with you, the smoke detector will remind you that you now started a fire in your kitchen. So um, you, you just want to take, take every safety precaution you can and yell to get everyone out of the home, especially if, if, if there's anyone else in the back of the house that might not know, you might want to exit towards the back of your house where you can gather everyone up and then exit. And then, and then you should also have a, a place to meet out front so everyone knows that they're there. When the fire department arrives and so they tell us everyone's out of the house, that just, that's just such a relief to us and, and we go down like one step. And, and so we, we won't take the same amount of risks. I mean, we're gonna save your property and everything, but, but if someone's trapped inside, we're gonna take much more greater risk to, to make sure everything is okay and be much more aggressive. Unfortunately, a fire does, you know, it creates a lot of damage with smoke and heat and water, but, um, but in Dearborn Heights, the vast majority of the time, we keep the fires uh, in the room of origin. So thank you, Chief. That's uh, very informative. Uh, I know I learned a lot today. Good. And I'm sure my mom will be, uh, I'm going to make sure that she watches the, the segment of uh, when, when it goes on, uh, it goes live. So thank you so much uh, for the information. Uh, I always appreciate all the information you give to our residents and teaching them about fire safety. Good. Thank Good. you. Appreciate it. You're welcome. And thank you, uh, Dearborn Heights residents. And uh, please make sure um, if you watch this, you know, let the, uh, your uh, your parents uh, your grandparents you know watch this segment so they learn about uh, fire safety especially during the holidays i hope everybody has a happy and safe holidays and please be safe thank you